Just maybe this is the better way to do it. From those guys, $10,000 and above. DJ JT, Bryson, Rob, Morikawa, Rory, and Xander. I'm crossing off Xander, Morikawa, and Justin Thomas right off the hop. Because obviously you can't play everyone. I, I like some of the sleepers in those groups, whatever. That leaves DJ, Bryson, Rahm, and Rory for me uh, as the guys that I, I'm probably going to try to whittle that down with your help. But those are the four that I'm leaning towards of the favorites right now. Yeah, fair enough. And and I mean, I'm definitely kind of of the, you know, of the opinion that like with Xander's uh, group, uh, I, I'd probably be be crossing him off. I mean, you go down two hundred dollars to Cantlay, which is, is is just a better pivot. He's got a better group. He's playing well. I shouldn't say he's playing better. He's come off a terrible game, performance, but more cow is interesting. He does feel a little bit overpriced, perhaps. So I can definitely get behind that. You know, maybe still a little bit not settled with the putter. And then you look at the other guys. I mean, um, you know, Justin Thomas in a group of death. I wouldn't have a problem or the supposed group of death from, from here. Uh, that's what people are calling it, right? With Usti and, and Kisner, two uh, match play specialists. So I would have a problem crossing him off as well. That kind of leaves you with Dustin, Bryson, and, and John Rahm to, uh, to to sift through, which isn't bad. You know, obviously you could probably still fit two of those guys in. You'd have to get pretty extreme in your other picks, but um, I'm, I'm all for that as well, crossing those guys off. Rory, I haven't quite made a decision on. Uh, I, I feel like Rory is probably a guy I, I, I'd be okay leaving off. I know he's got great you know, kind of Pete Dye history. He's good in this event, obviously, but um, just worth where his game is at right now. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's quite got the confidence here to make a run. So I'd probably be, again, more in tune with trying to get exposure to like, uh, you know, three of those top four guys and crossing off that kind of second tier with like uh, Rory and, and Xander. I actually think this sets up really well for Rory. You mentioned the die history. His game's kind of in the toilet right now by his standards, not by actual standards. Yeah. <laughs> and we just saw Justin Thomas play win the players. So yeah. I, I don't think it's too far away for someone like Rory who's had some nice runs. It's never event. that far away, and, right? I mean, and, and this is a nice low pressure spot for him to go do something too. Cause if he doesn't advance out of his group, like who cares? There's going to be a bunch of one seeds that don't advance like him, Rom and DJ might all not advance. And then like, who cares if Rory doesn't like, it's no longer a story at that point. So I think that the pressure's off of him a little bit this week. And I do think from the DraftKings side of things that he'll probably just be lesser owned than all these guys. Yeah. And look, from an ownership perspective, absolutely. Because, um, you know, it, that, that could definitely change my mind on Rory as we get to like, you know, Tuesday night here. If, if, if the ownership is just getting ridiculous from his group, I mean, you know, again, just to remind myself, look, it's not like his group is, is, is overflowing with talent. I, I like Cam Smith too, but I mean, I'm not scared of, of Lanto Griff, Lanto Griff. I am. Or, or I am. Both. I'm scared of Lanto. I think that Lanto is like a, I mean, we're in Texas and he just gets stuck. It'd be like how he I can get stupid hot with his butter. Like that's, he can that's really the thing. get stupid hot. Yeah. And, and that's sort of the thing that I was looking at. Like outside of Bubba, who is, as I mentioned to Feinberg, is sort of stats don't apply to Bubba Watson. Like either he's the best player in the world or he's garbage. That's it's almost <laughs> like looking at Siwoo Kim stats. Like who cares? Yeah. Like, do you absolutely. think he, is he going to have a good week or is he going to be the worst guy in the field? They're both <laughs> sort of like Ricky Bobbies in golf. But other than that, like DJ, Day. Kisner like these are all really good not only Pete Dye players but they're also really good putters at the same time like Louie plays well here almost every single time why he's a good putter yep. that I yep. I'm active unlike what I normally do every single week in golf betting I do think that there is something to being a good putter this week it, I mean you look at just the, the match play guys I mean they they all seem to at least have some kind of consistency or, or, or just better upside with their putter right so I don't disagree at all. Um, again, you know, Rory for me, um, I think that group is is gettable, but you know, Cam Smith and, and I guess we can throw Lonto in there are, are guys that, that you would worry about. Uh, for me, Rory stands out as, again, he'd be a pure ownership for me. Uh, I'm still not confident that that he's, he's quite there, but you're right. I mean, the, the pressure could be off a little bit. Um, could definitely see him at least coming out of that pod and, and, and maybe like getting to the quarters. But uh, if he has to deal with Rom in the quarters, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know if he's quite there, but uh that's an interesting pod just because of, of the, the names that are there for sure. <laughs> 